All right, so got a package in the mail today. I know it's excited. I'm very excited. So if you guys have been keep up with Nintendo, you know that they, well, they like to release old controllers now for the Nintendo Switch Online service. And the only way you can get those controllers is if you're a paid member of Nintendo Online. Luckily, you do not have to be an expansion pack member to get the controllers I'm about to unbox. But if you're like me, you're probably going to want to use these old controllers because they really add, at least in my opinion, add to the experience. Man, everything's like boxed up in here. So we got three controllers today. Two are going to be for one system, while one's going to be for the other. And if you've been paying attention to Nintendo, you, you know what these are. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll tell you one thing, I'm really excited. I've been playing with the expansion pack games for the past few days now, and I've got my feelings on it. I think there's things about it that could have been better, things about it that I actually like, but I think in time, hopefully Nintendo listens and makes the improvements that I think are needed, but I'm not... You know, I don't want to discuss what they need to do and what they not need to do. Let's just get down to the nitty gritty and talk about this awesome 64 controller. So when Nintendo announced this, I was like, day one purchase, I have to have this because the Nintendo 64 is my personal favorite Nintendo. It's honestly my favorite game system of all time. It's the one I got when I was seven. Still have it. Great system, and I am very excited to finally have a new controller with a joystick that's probably going to hopefully last longer than my old ones did. And right off the bat, I can see a difference. So, I will show you when I unbox it. So there, there's a difference already I can see on here. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. I kind of think, I'm going to be a little picky here, you can definitely see the wrapping on the inside, and I think it just takes away from how good this could have looked. Instead of using like a plastic mold on the inside, it's just got this bag. I mean, it'll definitely, you know, serve its purpose, but I mean, it just, it doesn't look as good as it could have, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and get it open. All right. Brand new... 64 controller. Plain box. Okay, what we got in here? USB Type C cord. No instructions. Well, I guess I'll never forget how to use this thing. I'm kidding. Hopefully, I know how to use a controller by now. And Nintendo, they keep it very simple. There's instructions right on the back. So, nothing to it there. And that is a brand new Nintendo 64 controller. I gotta tell you, it's been a long time. But man, is, is it nice. Oh yeah, that feels great. So, I'm a little disappointed. I can't insert my rumble pack because it's been filled in. I'm going to assume that's either where the battery is now or the built-in rumble. Because they have built-in rumble now, which is amazing. So, couldn't get it back then with this guy, but they sure could now. Alright, so first thing I'm going to point out is the difference I see in the joystick. This one's got a little itty-bitty hole in it, and this one is, does not. It's filled in. So, is that going to be any better? Who knows? Looking at the controllers side by side. <coughs> I don't know if you can tell in the video, but this one definitely has a lot of mileage on it versus this one does not because it's brand new. Now let's go ahead and get it out of this wrap. Okay, so here's your two controllers side by side. And like I was saying, right here in the middle of the joystick. Got a little hole. This one does not. 
Don't know if there's any significance there. Maybe it's just a new stick. Hopefully this one holds up a lot better. I don't think I'm going to break this one apart for a while, but hopefully Nintendo definitely built this one to last. Because, uh, I mean, that's what will happen after, what, 25 years? Still works, though. Just not as good as it could have been. So with a new control, well, yeah, that's heavier. Yeah, it feels like there's definitely something in here. Um, I'm going to go with Rumble. Just wait based on the weight. So let's see. Buttons feel good. I like the buttons. Wow. Like, <laughs> this joystick feels amazing. It's also brand new, so that's why, but it's been a long time since I felt one like this. But it, it feels perfect, like it should be for the 64. So that is a plus. Yep, still looks the same on the inside. So, yeah, this one, like I said, it's worn. Interesting. There's the Z hinge. On, you can see where the hinges are on this one, but this one it's filled in. So it's not. It's almost identical. The screw holes are for the most part in the same spot, but the it's def. They're definitely the holes themselves are smaller on the new one. So there's that, and then of course you don't have the top where you're gonna insert your rumble pack or your controller pack. So. Yeah, overall, I'm excited. I like it. Nintendo 64 controller. Yep, everything made in China, made in China. Model numbers are different, but that's to be expected. But yeah, everything here looks all pretty much the same with the, you know, a few cosmetic differences to update it for 2021, but I am very excited. I'm going to definitely give this guy a try and let you know what I think about it. So, there's that. And then for comparison. Alright. This is amazing. I Thank you, Nintendo, for bringing this controller out. Now, if you could just work on the Nintendo Switch Online 64 emulator, that would be great. But, you know, we'll take one step at a time. So, we got that out of the way. Now... The other thing that's, uh, excuse me, the other thing I bought, where did I put it? Right here. We got another controller to unbox. Now this one, I'm more curious about because I don't think anyone was asking Nintendo for this. At least, no one I know was. But, so this was definitely a genuine surprise. To get a Sega Genesis controller from Nintendo. Like, that's crazy. You have the Sega Genesis North America controller. Or, not North America, I'm sorry. Three-button controller. This was in both countries. But Japan gets the six-button controller while we're stuck with a three-button controller. I don't know why they did that. But, you know, I still think this is pretty cool. But, like, how far out? Like, I've got a Sega control, a controller box with Nintendo's logo on the front. And then on the back, you got the uh, official Nintendo seal. So that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Like, who would have thought Nintendo would be releasing Sega hardware? So, let's see. Oops. I swear, this one feels like it was packaged better, too, which is the sad part. All right. So here it is, the Sega Genesis 3-button controller for the Nintendo Switch. And I gotta say, <laughs> yeah, that's a goal. Look, Nintendo and Sega, that you, you never, if you had told me this in the 90s, well, I was like, you know, 5, 6 with the Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo were a thing, but like, if you had told anyone this in the 90s that Sega and Nintendo would partner up like this no one would believe you but yeah 
<laughs> this is pretty cool. Um, for comparison, I've got my uh, Sega Genesis controller that came with the Classic system a few years ago, and yeah, they're pr practically the same. This one's a little heavier, probably because of the battery and Bluetooth and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's a pretty cool. I'm I, never would have thought I'd see Nintendo and Sega on the same, you know, on the same level here. Sega Corporation with Nintendo. So I wonder who actually made these. If Nintendo made them, if Sega made them, or what? But yeah, that is cool. So that is the Sega Genesis controller for the Nintendo Switch. And just to compare it, yeah, those deep those deep pads are definitely comparable in my opinion. They feel the same, but they sound different. Hmm. Oh, hey, you got your little Type-C controller port there. Oh, controller port. Charging port. Button. Home. Oh, it's your camera button. And then your sync button. Cool. Well, yeah, I'm I'm impressed with that. So one reason why we may not have gotten a six-button controller, I still don't know why they did that, but um, a few years ago, Retrobit did release a Bluetooth six-button controller for really anything it's bluetooth so you can use it on your switch you can use it on your computer your mobile device and i've been using this for sega games on my switch previously so like the sega collection the re-release of sonic one and two um the disney afternoon collection for the sega specific versions of those games i feel like this is a great controller for that and um I don't know why we didn't get this in America from Nintendo. Hopefully we do eventually, because I'd buy one. But you have options. I mean, at least Retrobit has this. You can get one of these. I think they're 20 bucks, 25 bucks. I don't think they're more than that. And there's also a wired version, too. Uh, I think those are like 15 bucks. So either way, you can definitely get your wireless Sega fix on the Nintendo Switch for sure. So... Anyway, I'm going to play with these and uh, definitely give you my honest thoughts on them, so uh, stay tuned. All right now, so I've been using the 64 controller for about a week now, and i got to say, I like it a lot. I think for the Nintendo 64 games, I think it's excellent. I think it works as designed, and playing those games on there really feels like I'm playing on my original 64, minus a little uh, input lag on some games, but that's a topic for another video. Um, I think Nintendo nailed it on the design. It really, you know, it feels like it would have probably when it was brand new. Don't remember because I was a kid. But uh, I feel like it's good. The joystick appears to be of better material. Time will tell. Um, but I did see a um, breakdown video where it looks like the reinforcements underneath are a lot better. So hopefully this will hold up over time. We don't know, but we'll see. But we're playing Nintendo 64 games on Switch Online. This is definitely the controller to use. Now, I know, unfortunately, Nintendo just announced yesterday that these controllers are pretty much going to be out of stock until 2022. So if you can get your hands on one, I definitely recommend it if you are a huge fan of 64 games. Especially since, um, as of yesterday, Nintendo released a patch update for Super Mario 3D All-Stars where this controller is now supported. And that kind of goes towards my negative on the controller. This controller does not work with pretty much all the games on the Switch except with Nintendo 64 Online and 3D All-Stars to my knowledge. I know there might be a game here or there that it works good with. Not aware of it yet, so I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I haven't come across that in my library. What I will say though is if you are definitely getting the expansion pack and you want to play 64 games, this is awesome. I like it. I have two of them. I'll probably buy two more, especially if um, the recent rumor of GoldenEye potentially coming out comes out that'd be cool so i like the 64 controller and i definitely recommend getting one if you want to play 64 games on your switch i don't recommend this one and the reason why is there's nothing wrong with a controller it works perfectly as far as i can tell and um there's nothing wrong with it but this is opinion we keep that in mind this is my opinion i don't think it's comfortable to use 
Um, I think the three button, it works, but the controller itself is just not that comfortable in my opinion. And I think that's because I'm used to using a six button controller. Growing up, all my buddies who had Sega Genesis had the six button controller. And I think it's just a better design controller for the Genesis. When you compare the two, it's, it's not just a six button, it's the size of the controller. This one I feel like fits my hand better and it's just more comfortable. Versus this one, I got this big boomerang looking thing, and yeah, so it works great. I don't want to take away from that, but it's it's not comfortable in my opinion, so I'm definitely going to stick to these. So if um, you're wanting to play Sega Genesis games, I would recommend getting the RetroBit Genesis controller. It is officially licensed, and I think it's a very good controller. Um, I do know, this is the Bluetooth version, the uh, USB 2.4 gigahertz version actually has built-in rumble which is pretty cool. I've actually got that controller, um, and I don't know why the Bluetooth version didn't get rumble, but I don't know. Sega, RetroBit, whatever. So, anyway, that's just, you know, my thoughts on the controllers. 64 controller is excellent for what it is. It's not a GameCube controller. It's not a DualShock, but for the games that were made for that controller, it's spot on, and I definitely enjoy playing with it. I've never had an issue with it. Um, Genesis, go for RetroBit. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. All right. Have a good one.